Hi everyone, a few months ago I saw a video where someone swapped the blade on their table saw with a paper blade and since I got this rotary tool for Christmas I thought why don't we try the same thing but before we try and make our own paper blades let's try out one of the ones that came with it. And as you saw that had absolutely no problem cutting through this PVC tubing. Now let's go ahead and make our own blades out of regular printer paper. Now I'm going to make them pretty much the same size as the blade that's on there right now. But to make them a little bit stronger I'm going to fold over the paper so we've got a double thickness. So let's go ahead and cut out our blades. So now we can put the screw through the blade and fit it to the rotary tool. So you can see we've got the paper blade fitted on there and we're ready for the moment of truth. But instead of beginning with this PVC tubing, let's start with something easier, this plastic fork. So you can see it cut through that pretty easily, no problem at all. I'm actually quite impressed with that. Um, yeah, that cut through quite easily. Let's give it a go on the PVC. How does the blade look? Yeah, you can see it's a little bit crumpled on the edges, but let's give the PVC a chance. So you can see this cut isn't as clean as the one with the original blade, but it did cut through quite impressively. Although you can see that my paper blade is pretty much nothing now, so let's swap it over for the other one I made. So now I've added a new paper cutting disc and we're going to try and cut through some plywood. I have no idea if this will work. So yes, although it's going to get through a lot of these paper discs, technically you can cut through this plywood that's gone all the way through, although on the other side you can see it's only cut in about that far. But technically, yes, it can cut through plywood. Now we're going to try the PVC pipe again, but this time using a paper disc that I've soaked in super glue. Well there you go, that actually worked much better. Um, it looks like it's not as clean, but that's because when I cut this bit off earlier, it's much easier to access this compared to this where I'm trying to get the tool in at the sides and the top. But you can see it actually cut through really well and the disc did stand up to it much better. So dipping your paper discs in super glue does appear to make them a lot tougher. Just for some extra fun, let's try and cut through this laminated cardboard and this piece of plastic here. And I'm using one of the discs that's been dipped in super glue. There we go, cut through them easily. And just to send this disc to its final destination, let's try and cut through this wood. Well, surprisingly, it actually didn't do too bad. It managed to cut into it. In fact, I think it did better with this wood than this plywood, perhaps because plywood is made up of so many compressed fibers and glue and everything like that. Whereas this real wood, it actually cut through okay. So yeah, quite impressive. Although one thing I would say is there's quite a lot of like dust and smell coming off this one, the one where I added super glue. So that might not be very good for your health. So yeah, if you're gonna use these super glue ones, you're probably going to want to wear a respiratory mask. So I think that pretty much sums up this video. Can you cut wood, plastic, cardboard, paper, PVC with 
paper discs? Yes, you can. You're going to end up with a lot of discs like this that are absolutely destroyed, but they cost practically nothing to make and they seem to work okay, especially for lighter plastics like this type here or for like hobby boxes and general hobby use. I think they actually work quite okay. I'm quite surprised. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.